I know it ain't all bad late, but you should probably leave. Hey, happy Tuesday. Eric, you don't have to leave yet. You just got here. Oh, the dad <laughs> jokes. I was like, what? Don't worry, Eric. Oh, Chris would be proud. Oh, Christopher. Good old uh, Chris. It's official. It's I Could Use a Cocktail Tuesday. And the number one song this week is You, you Should, Should Probably, Probably Leave by Chris Stapleton. And he actually wrote this one yep. with another Chris, Chris Dubois, and Ashley Gorley. So what is this, number 59 number one songs for Ashley Gorley? Uh, I don't think I'm far off, by the way. With that I number. mean, I wouldn't be surprised. He's Chris Dubois 50, has I'm quite sure. a few, too. So. <sighs> And Chris Hampton. Well, um... Just a bunch of heavy hitters today. Yeah, so no, it's really just another night for them. Yeah, you know, but, this song, I have loved this song for so long. Same. I remember back... I don't know how long <laughs> ago it was, but I remember he was... Chris Stapleton was on a radio tour. Okay, so that's... Forever ago with his first forever. single. The... And he played this song. That long so ago. So this is funny because I feel like it's this is one of those songs that sounds so familiar. Yeah. Like I literally thought he redid this, like this was someone else's song yeah. and he redid it. I think you probably are just remembering it from like 10 years ago when it was his. It's, Which the, it's his is song. a great reminder as songwriters that sometimes it takes a while. It's got to be the right time. The timing is everything yeah. in this town. Yeah, yeah. it really is. And right now, in this town at this time, I need some wine. <laughs> there we go. So the reason why we're drinking wine, we're not making a cocktail this week, because sometimes you want zero work. Like, literally, all you want to do is just pour and drink. Yeah. And lazy Girl, what was it? Lazy, lazy Girl Cocktails. We got one for you. alternative title um, to this show. So there's a line in the song that goes, there's still time for you to finish your wine. Then you should probably leave. So we thought it'd be fun to do a little sipperoo. Drink a little wine before so, we leave you. I'm not good at doing this, so we're gonna see how this goes. But Erica, tell the people about the wine that we're drinking today. Um, this is gonna be a sweet muscadine wine, which is not usually my go-to. I'm more of a red gal. How oh, about you? I think so. Same. Yeah. Yeah, red. Yeah. Um, but you know what? In okay, okay. That's so. That's as far as you go. Oh, it's be okay. Oh, no. Oh. There's still time for you. Oh, you went too far. As you can tell, I don't drink a lot of wine. No, I like to order wine when I'm out. Oh, no, oh, no. Uh, oh, no, oh, no. So we, we so, may be getting the fun experience of some cork in our wine. Oh, it builds character, you know? I'm not even embarrassed about this. I just want that to be known. Do you need my muscle? I don't think it's a muscle thing, it's like a <laughs> leverage thing. This is fun for us, isn't it? This is called Why is it Live TV, baby. Oh. <laughs> Why isn't it going up? Is your thing have you ever used this? No, one it's brand new. It's been sitting in my drawer for a while. It was I I had to take it out of the packaging for today. Oh no. I'm not crazy, right? This is no. how it should be working. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, see. Huh? We have our producer back in the studio today, by the way. Yeah, I don't know the if it maybe doesn't even go back in and then on the top one. You see this part maybe? Okay. I'm lost. I just want to drink the wine. I'm thirsty. Well, I feel like you're getting some. No, it, it's just like there's no, like usually it would go, this part would go up. Is this, is this okay, Caitlin's first time appearance on the, oh, she's looking in drawers for another. How about? Do you want to try? I'll try. Well, this is a first for us here on I Could Use a Cocktail Tuesday. I could use a cocktail you know, right about me. The beauty of our our setup here is, you know, no edits. We just kind of take we just us flow. as we are. We let it flow. And you know, some days some days go smoother than others. And this would be a rocky. What what we thought would be the easiest setup has, has proven. Turned <gasps> she. That's why we keep her around. Yay! Top part or this little one? Uh, she just the little one. Really? So I just oh. was like, well, she works out harder than I do. Oh, She's this got smells the like grape guns. juice. Smell it. Oh yeah. I also want to be clear. I know nothing about wine, 
So let's read the back. Okay, yeah. Smooth, mm. fruity, mm. white wine with a floral start. Okay. And a sweet, finish. silky oh. finish. <gasps> Whoa. The Best way, the served. Way you said that was a little sultry. Yeah, it was a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Randy, are you watching? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, best served chilled. Um, I didn't have it chilling, so we put some ice cubes in here. But I feel like I see celebrities always have like ice in their wine. Do you ever watch Ellen? Yeah. There's always celebrities with ice in their wine on that show. Well, you know what? You know, they say dress for the part you want, so. You want some wine, Caitlin? Sure. 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 She's a classy broad. She just got her nails done and she's feeling mm -hmm. fancy. And <laughs> you we didn't give you ice cubes. Sorry, you didn't <laughs> you didn't feel fancy. Fancy. Cheers. Cheers. Glad we finally worked through that. This feels is this like a dessert wine, would you say? Is that how you classify like a a muscadine, yeah. Yeah, yeah sweet. Oh or it just says like a Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's it's Ooh. It's sweet. Have you ever had muscadine before? I don't think so. I've, okay. I, I've tried a lot of wines. Just couldn't tell you what I've tried, what I like, what I don't like. Um, prefer the reds. Yeah. Muscadine's a, a this correct taste, me if I'm wrong, people, but muscadine is southern. That's a southern thing, I believe. This tastes like communion wine from church. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. It reminds me of like, actually, no, the Welch's grape juice. Yeah, I mean, I could probably drink this whole bottle and not even think twice. Just... Well, do you want to try? <laughs> no, no. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm doing a little bit of uh, uh, portion control. Mm. Something I need to work on. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Um, you know, one other thing I was going to say about this song. Yeah. And still the, one of my faves. Like, probably, like, dare I say this song is, like, top ten favorite songs of mine. <gasps> yeah. She said it. She dared. She I, did do it. I definitely think on like my Spotify wrapped, this was one Ooh. of my top five of last year. But then the, one of the things I love about it, besides Chris Stapleton's voice, as always, that opening guitar riff gets me every time. Yeah. So good. So my friend Zach plays this song when we play downtown. Oh. And I just love it. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. And then, I don't know, there's just something like so casual in the lyric you know you're like oh i know he's it's talking those... to you but he's not and it's flirty yeah, but, but it's, it's not. not it's just like a. and then oh. it's just like there's also it's a good reminder that like like that's not a complicated song no right like there's nothing that you're like damn i would have never thought of this yeah and like sometimes i look it at number one hard. songs where it's just like man it has to be like like so, like super profound. Like, pro yeah, profound. And this is just very conversational, and I like yeah. that. Yeah, same. Yeah, man. Um, this is growing on me, actually. See, no, I was gonna say maybe I... it's the ice melting, watering it down. Maybe <laughs> it's like um, the whiskey documentary I watched, where she says you have to take two sips because oh, the first yeah. one always, no matter how good of whiskey it is, will taste like gasoline. So maybe that's with wine too. You gotta take two sips. First sip, grape juice. Second sip. Communion wine. Third sip, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom of the bottle, it's my favorite. <laughs> Woo! Back to the start. I would recommend this though if you like a sweeter wine. Yeah, it's definitely a sweet wine. It's, honestly, it's grape juice to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't taste like alcohol at all. It's from North Carolina. What's the mountain Duplin wine? Duplin? What, what's the what's the alcohol content level on there? Ten. What? 10%, 10.5%. How many, also, this is a question because I know nothing about wine. How, how many servings is in a wine bottle? About four. Okay. I think. That's just, I guess it depends on how healthy of a pour you do. <laughs> <laughs> These little guys, you might get about eight. I like that. Yeah. Make it, make it last. Make it last. Well, cheers, Chris Stapleton. Um, I'm sure you're going to see this. <laughs> yeah. Hey. And ask you know, to be a guest on our show. Maybe we should write sometime, Chris. Well, first we'll invite you to the show, and then we'll ask you to leave. We'll see. Because see you'll have you. too much wine. Yeah. We'll say you can finish it, but then you should, you should probably, probably go home to your wife and children, no. Chris. He's got like five kids. Does he really? Yeah. Oh, and one, another one of those artists, Walker yeah. Hayes, is like 10. Yeah, just pumping them out. Wow, good for you guys. If that's... Caitlin's like, all right, guys, wrap it up. <laughs> Caitlin's like scared of children. <laughs> but Caitlin got a puppy. That's fun news. Yeah, that is like a child, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you tired, Caitlin? 
Yeah, very did, tired. Did mama need some wine? Exhausted. <laughs> She's a dog mom. I saw a dog mom hat yesterday and I almost got it for you, but I was like, she wouldn't wear this. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. not that kind of mom. She's I'll, a cool mom. She's a cool mom. Cool mom. Cool moms don't wear dog mom hats. No. No okay. offense. <laughs> Unless that's you, okay? Yeah. Cheers. And we love you. Thanks for watching and bye. See you next week.